Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth with Twinkie TV and I'm here to give a recap of episode number 14. So where we left off with our lovable duo, Jong Nara's kind of like scared in her hotel room because Jong Hyuk's character Lee Gun is like banging on the door. He's like, my hotel room is 2006. My hotel room is 2006. Why can't I get into my hotel room? She's thinking it's like some crazy person. And so this episode is just a lot of like, kind of like mishap, misunderstanding, a lot of longing from Jong Hyuk's character, Lee Gun, the male lead, towards Mi Young, who is Jong Nara's character. So Jong Nara's character, she opens the door and they have like this like little spill on the floor. She takes care of him throughout the night and she still is like so in love with Lee Gun or Jong Hyuk's character because she's like trying to reach out to him. She's like watching over him. But in the morning, she's like, please leave before you, before I get back to my hotel room because I don't want to see you anymore or for the rest of my life. So it's kind of like sending a very strong message to Lee Gun. But we all know in the audience that she's not over him and he, Jong Hyuk's character, is definitely not over Jong Nara's character, Mi Young. So, Throughout the last two episodes, 13 and 14, you see that Jong Nara's character is like this very successful artist from Paris. She's being supported through Daniel Pitt, which is Che Jin Hyuk's character. And so I just feel like they, Mi Young and Daniel Pitt, has gotten very close over the last three years. And Daniel's been like slowly pursuing Mi Young throughout these years, being a very supportive friend, oppa to her. And um, she's just flourished under his like kind of care. And Jang Hyuk, or Lee Gun, he has been doing his work. He's been successful. And you can kind of tell that he didn't go back to Sarah. They're just kind of friends. Um, Sarah's still desperately in love with Lee Gun. But Lee Gun is kind of keeping everybody at like an arm's distance because of his illness. And so he's not, he didn't pick up with Sarah. He pretty much pushed Jong Nara's character, Mi Young, out of his life. So there's definitely, you know, Jong Hyuk kind of leading a very interesting bachelor life. And so this whole episode was super cute. And one of the cutest reasons why it's because Jong Hyuk's character bought Mi Young's um, favorite painting of a child girl who is basically Getongi, um, doing like a little snail kind of motion, which is something that he was uh, Lee Gun's character was calling um, Jong Nara's character. So there's a lot of very sweet interaction there. There's also a possibility that Jong Nara's character is going to be working for Lee Gun, and. It's nice that Lee Gun is now taking his younger brother, his half sibling, the son of the mistress for his father, under his wing, um, calling him dragon. They're kind of like fighting and just doing a really cute interaction. And I, that's what I think I like about Fated to Love You. There's a lot of different types of camera shooting. Um, and there's times where you, I feel like they're sitting in a play. So in this episode and the last episode, you'll see John Hyuk's character and Jang Nara's character talking to each other through text or kind of like thinking, thinking about each other where physically the actors are sitting side by side and talking to each other. But for the storyline, they're communicating over text or just kind of thinking about each other. So I really like that different type of camera shooting and different angle of how the storyline is being told. It's just different. It's unique. And I also really like the fact that some of the conflicts and like emotional turmoil is resolved in a timely manner. Like Daniel Pitt, Che Jin Hyuk's character, is desperately looking for his um, sister who he lost through adoption. Actually, he lost her in a park. So I kind of feel like the sister is possibly Sarah because they both have like a scar on their shoulder. Hope that's not a spoiler alert. But um, so yeah, I think that a lot of these characters of course, through tr Korean drama land, are very much inter entwined with each other. And so, yeah, it's just episode 14 was very, very 
sweet. It was really cute. I especially love the interaction where Lee Gun and Mi Young, they're kind of talking back and forth through text. And um, yeah, and throughout it all, Lee Gun has always been very charismatic, larger than life, super like amazing male kind of like superhero, interesting guy. And Mi Young has been staying her very sweet, self but not saccharine sweet which i don't like of candy girls she's always been just very sweet and now she's able to stand up for herself she's got a much more interesting personality and her style her style is so cute her hair looks amazing and her clothes and whoever is putting her together in terms of the styling a plus doing a great job and um there is a cliffhanger at the end of episode 14 because daniel pitt che jin hyuk's character is definitely um trying to get some leverage over lee gun's character or lee gun which is jong hyuk's character so i actually have been enjoying this drama so much it's just so sweet and i gotta say that this the story writers are doing an amazing job pushing putting the storyline through every episode and it's just picking up and I love it. It's just it's just very heartwarming, very very cute and I know that it's been a remake and some people kind of know like the gist of the story, but I think this Korean version is different enough that for all of you people who've seen the Taiwanese version, I think the Korean version is definitely well worth the um look. So let me know what your thoughts are. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.